Hi Blender fans, this is JNM with an update for my screencast keys add-on called Viewer. In Blender 2.8 there is a problem with this kind of overlays. When you activate the add-on and the box for the previous operator is opened, then the text of the add-on is sometimes hidden by this box. You can see this here and this could be really annoying, so I introduced a new docking property so that you can dock the add-on's display to the left or the right side of the screen. The property is saved to the blend file, this means when you save your file and open it again, the dock state is persisted. Ok, if you are interested in the implementation, let's have a look at the Python code. For the horizontal dock state, I introduced a new scene property of type enum property. At the moment, the values can be left or right. To display it in a panel, you just have to add the property to the layout and then it will be shown in a drop down widget. In the draw callback of the operator, I check if the hdoc scene property is set to 1, which means it is docked to the right, and in this case, I set the x position of the text to the right border of the 3D view region. Subtract the text extent and an offset before I draw the text. To be able to update the graphics for the mouse buttons only when the property has changed, I use the method called hdoc changed that returns true if the scene property is different than a member variable which is named hdoc and defined in my operator. In the model method, I call this and if the scene property has changed, I call the method create batches of the draw util class. In this method, the vertices for the mouse buttons are calculated and the batches for the shaders are created. And here I check if the hdoc property is left or right and adjust the x position of the vertices accordingly. This means that the batches for the shaders only need to be recreated if the hdoc property has been changed. You can download the add-on from my GitHub page, the link is added to the description. Just click the green button and download the zip file, the add-on can be installed directly from this zip. I hope you like the add-on guys and you find it useful and if you like my channel then don't forget to subscribe. You can add your ideas for features or improvements for the add-on to the comments and if you like to support me consider being my patron. Thanks a lot for this, thanks for watching and I'll see you on JNM.